No one has discovered a magical pill or found that can stop the hands of time. It's too bad. Yeah. But our next <laughs> guest says a few simple lifestyle changes can not only transform you to be healthier and more fit, but it can also add years to your life. Here now is Araldo Maglara, fitness trainer and author of The Real Fountain of Youth. Welcome to CT Style. Thank you for having me. And Araldo, we were uh, speaking before we started. You're actually 103 years old, right? I'm 103 years old. He follows everything you <laughs> do very closely. That's so my book does work. All right, now, now tell us a little bit about the book and, and just uh, healthy lifestyles in general. Why is it so important? Well, I assume we all want to live a little longer than normally we would. So including a nice healthy diet and exercising does extend your life expectancy. It's been proven. Uh, the life expectancy over the years has increased. As we all know, women used to be up in the 70s. Men used to be in the early 70s. But now actually it shows that the men are in the upper 70s oh. and the women are in the early 80s. So that's a big change, and that's because a lot of the health and eating that we've been doing. So there are five simple lifestyle changes for mm -hmm. longevity. We're going to go through them. The first one okay. you say is manage that stress. Manage that stress. Stress has been shown now, but a lot of recent studies have shown that stress can cause a lot of things to your body, uh, especially the inflammatory system that we have. Uh, there's a, when we are, our bodies are in an inflamed situation, it releases a hormone, it's called cortisol. Cortisol fights that inflammation, so it reduces the inflammation down, so we can handle it much better. So it is important to control the stress because it does alleviate that issue as well. So. What are some ways that, that we can control the stress? Uh, you can do some nice, easy things. You can go for a walk, you can get a massage, you know, just put your mind at ease. It's all about the mental aspect of it. If you can just control it nice and easy, get out with friends, enjoy your life, it's much more easier for the body. I, I feel like at work it's good to take a, a lunch break once in a while yes. because I, I know a lot of people that we work with, uh, some of our, our producers, you know, they're, they're always at their desk and it's, it's tough just sitting there all day. You got to get up, move That's around. That's absolutely eat. right. Get, get the up, blood flowing, right? get the blood flowing, get the mind fresh, fresh air. It'll do a lot. All right. Really speaking nice of mind, improving so. diet, uh, eating lunch, how do we go about doing this? Some things we should incorporate into our diet? Well, fiber is one thing that I think you should include into. It hasn't, you know, shown to uh, decrease, you know, cardiovascular issues. Uh, it also shows to maintain your healthy weight. So including fiber in your diet is very important. Also for individuals that have some bowel issues or whatever, it also helps with that. So nice, clean it, and maintain a nice, uh, healthy constitution. So. And, and is it okay to, to cheat on your diet once in a while? Yes. That cheese cheat burger? days are okay. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I do it myself. One day a week, I just say, what the heck, I'll have whatever I want. Obviously, yeah. I'm, you know, I don't overdo it, but yes, it is, it is good. You can do that, yes. All right, social support. How does this play into things? Well, again, we talked about having uh, some friends, have God, have a good time. Right. It's very important to do that because uh, it eliminates the stress. Again, it kind of, everything kind of works one hand in hand and together. They all correlate with one another. So it is important to you know, enjoy with your friends, have mm -hmm. a good time. Time. It, re it lowers your stress level yeah. and you can handle things much and, better. And you say something about hugging? Yes. There, uh, Tell us about <laughs> hugging. Well, again, <laughs> yes, that's perfect. Just right. Well, some studies have shown that when you hug with somebody, it also it, it lowers your stress level. So when you mm -hmm. lower your stress level by hugging, it, you can also fight colds a lot better. Oh, and so uh, it the fights off diseases. So it, hugging, why not? Let, let's hug. That's every, everybody going. should hug. A hug you know? a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> or multiple hugs. The more the better. Right? The more we'll, the matter. We'll, we'll, right. we'll just keep hugging. Let's just hug the whole All show. All right. Uh, exercise. Some yeah. people have a tough time fitting this into their days. Well, they should they, they should make it a priority to <laughs> they exercise. Should. They, they, should, they yeah. should make it a priority to exercise. Exercise has has is done tremendous amount of things for your body, whether lowering your heart rate, mm -hmm. straining your bones, uh, you know, improving your, your muscle churn on the body. So, I mean, I can go on and on with that, but definitely make it an effort to exercise. What, what are some ways to get people motivated to, to go to the gym or, or simply to, to work out in their own home? Because, you know, I mean, there's only so much time in the day. You got to cook, you got to, you know, get the kids ready for school. One thing that I've actually uh, have discovered is that if you can include exercise in your work of office, that's that's great. That's tremendous because we're strict for times. A lot of mm -hmm. us have a lot of multiple jobs or whatever. So if you can incorporate exercise into your office, I you know just for to show you right here, I brought some simple things that you can bring onto the office for you: a medicine ball, some straps, and I brought some dumbbells. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, so so we have the medicine ball. We have the medicine we're, ball. We're at our our office. You're Teresa's at your office. In the, you can be in sitting office. in your chair. You can do some easy. Ah. turns with, with, with the medicine balls. You, works you can pass it. You can pass it along. <laughs> right, you can do all there kinds. Go, huh? <laughs> right, a lot of work with your with your core you can do with that one as well. So You can even sit on one of those exercise yeah, balls. I've right. seen people do that yeah, before. Absolutely. Those are called the big stability balls. That's right. Yes. Uh, stop smoking and limit drinking. Probably common sense there. Oh <laughs> boy, you know, stop smoking. I, I, I read a research on... on <laughs> <laughs> I read a research that if you smoke just one cigarette, that's five minutes it's taken away from your life. Wow. Oh. Five 
Uh, so in a pack of cigarettes is about 20 cigarettes. Uh -huh. So you, it's uh, 100 minutes. That's a lot of time. It's an hour and a half we just from, well, you do your math, you multiply it days, weeks, and years. Yeah. Well, now you, you, you're, you're subtracting life from you. So yeah. why, why would you want to do that at all? So. Oh. That's yeah. not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. <laughs> and when it comes to alcohol, yeah, a couple drinks know, per week, is that allowed? Um, yeah, that, that's fine. And I like wine myself, so I'll have like a glass of wine. Actually, it's been shown to be beneficial to you when oh, you good. drink wine. Red wine, so. right? Not red, well, red or they're white. Both? Really, okay. They're both pretty the more much the merrier. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, just, it's that binge drinking that we're talking right. about that, that's not so good for your liver yeah. and everything else. Especially so. at 9 o'clock in the morning, uh, <laughs> watching CT style. You should not be binge drinking. No. And where can no. we find your book? No. You can find my book on Amazon. You oh. can find it on Barnes and Noble, on the Sears. Many websites is carrying my book now. So very right. nice. Thanks Some great so much, advice. Robert. Thank you for being here. Oh, in thank CT you for having style. me. Appreciate it. Thank All you. Right.